What's up everybody, this is Simpsons Roo from CleverMusings.net and today I wanted to show you a bit of the Murzen fight from End Time. Um, I've noticed a lot of people in the randoms that I've been running uh, really do a poor job uh, kind of placing the distortion bombs that he throws at the um, at players during the encounter. And I just wanted to show you guys that uh, there's definitely a right and wrong way to deal with it. Now I know that any tanks out there um, or any melee DPS, you really don't have to deal with this mechanic at all. But um, I've seen ranged run, you know, in completely wrong places and end up putting these things right next to the melee, right in front of the tank. The distortion bombs are usually why groups wipe on this boss, so it's really important to know how to manage them, how the mechanics work. Um, so I figured I'd just show you guys in the, just a random pug that I ran. Now my advice for placement during the start of the fight is um, to the left of the hourglass, because that will allow you to strafe to the right as the distortion bombs are thrown, which should let you um, place them in a way that doesn't interfere with other ranged DPS or the tanks or the healers or the melee groups. Now I kind of get lucky in the beginning of this encounter, I don't get distortion bombs, the mage to my right does though, and if you'll notice, as the distortion bomb is thrown, he will move to the right a little bit, just so he's out of range of it when it finally explodes on the ground, which is exactly what you want to do. The one thing he kind of doesn't do right though is he moves forward as he goes to the right, which is getting the distortion bombs closer and closer to the melee group, closer and closer to the tanks. Now the distortion bombs are thrown at a player's location. However, the location of the distortion bombs is also recorded, and every time you hit the hourglass, uh, Murazond will throw a distortion bomb at where you were standing in the previous kind of hourglass phases. If you'll notice, every time I hit the hourglass, distortion bombs will appear on the field with increased frequency. Now after the hourglass is hit, you want to remain where you're standing until you have to move, like right there. Now I've got to move. But the mage to my right did not have to, and he decided to move forward anyway. Now pay attention to that distortion bomb in front of me right now where the mage was standing, because you will see it appear every time I hit the hourglass from now on. If you'll notice, um, closer to the boss, the distortion bombs are appearing where the mage had been standing the previous time. They are not appearing where he is standing right now, and they are quickly filling up the area. As I said, he was kind of moving up closer to the boss as time went on, and now they are getting very, very close to the melee group, very, very close to the healer and the tank, which is not something you want. See, another distortion bomb was just placed in front of me where the mage had been standing. Um, it was really unnecessary for that to have been placed there. Had the mage just stood where he was um, teleported to after the hourglass was hit, that distortion bomb never would have been placed there. As you can see, they are being placed everywhere now. There are distortion bombs covering everything. The frequency has gone up to a point where it's almost impossible to get um, one Shadow Bolt, which is about a two-second cast, without me having to move right away. This forces me to hit the hourglass sooner than I would like to. Um, we would still be under the effects of a bloodlust, and that's a DPS loss. More important than the DPS loss, though, is that you do not want to fill the field with these distortion bombs and get them in the melee group, get them in the healer group, because if the tank needs to move Murzand, you're in trouble. Every time the hourglass is hit, Murzand will teleport back to uh, where the fight started, so it's very difficult for a tank to kite him. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful. If you're typically a melee DPS or a tank, and you don't really see the ranged perspective on these distortion bombs, I hope that's given you a better idea of how it works. Maybe help some people out if they're confused, they're not doing it right. 
And if you're range DPS and you weren't quite sure why the distortion bombs seem to be going all over the place, hopefully now you know. And uh, just remember to have fun and see you guys next time. Still.